What's up guys? It's Sydney and this is your 40 minute upper body burn workout. So grab your dumbbells and let's get started. What's up guys? I'm so excited that you're here today for our upper body workout. I'm super pumped to get into this. Chest, back, shoulders, biceps, and triceps are on the menu for today. So let's go ahead and get you set up with your dumbbells, all right? I'm gonna be using anywhere from probably my 10 up to my 30 pound dumbbells. I will venture up into my 40s for a chest press and I want you to do the same with a weight that challenges you. So we have chest press and we have bent over rows. Those two exercises, I really want you to push that heavy weight or pull that heavy weight. Maybe step it up from the last time you did chest press or bent rows. We also have a shoulder press today, so I wanna challenge you to push it up there. And all the exercises today, I want you to really, really push yourself, okay? That's why we're here, to make the most of our time together. So if you haven't already, before we get started, make sure you go ahead and click subscribe right below the video, and we'll jump right into the warm up, okay? Also, I have a bench out here, optional dips. I have another move if you're not comfortable with dips, so grab that if you would like. If not, you're totally fine, okay? All right, thumbs up if you're ready. We're gonna jump right into the warm up with big backwards arm circles in three, two, one, let's go. Good, start with the shoulders. There you go. And let's switch directions and bring them back forward. Great job. So we're gonna start off with chest, and then we move down to back. Cross your arms over your chest. Whew. Like I said yesterday, I'm still pretty sore. This has been a tough couple weeks, right? So if you're feeling the same way, you just push through, okay? Make sure that you're staying safe with your technique and still challenge yourself. Good, all right, bring it back to the back of your mat. Slowly head down to your toes and then inchworm it out, stopping at a down dog, okay? Don't go all the way to plank. I want you to take your head behind your elbows and in front, back and front. Good, a little shoulder rotation here, also stretching out the lats. Good. Two more. Great job, and walk it back into your toes. Roll it up nice and slow. All right, I want you to roll your wrists around. Take an outward circles first and switch direction. Let's go in. There you go. Take your head side to side. There you go. Good. All right. Let's go. Jumping jacks for 10 just to get the blood flowing. Nine, eight, seven, six. We're going to start with a chest press. Two, one. All right, let's grab your chest press weight. We've got 45 seconds here, okay? All right, I'm gonna start with 35. Grab a weight that challenges you. And as soon as you get there, two, one, let's go. Just pressing right around your chest, right up to the ceiling. Great job. 20 seconds down. And going right outside of your rib cage. So make sure you're not going up around your shoulders, okay? You got about 10 seconds left. Beautiful. Five, four, two, one. Rest, and we're gonna superset that with chest fly. Okay, so I'm gonna grab my tins, taking it out nice and long for a chest fly. Okay, so opening it up like you're hugging a big stability ball and come right back in. Okay, let's go. And this one is a really good activation move too. So you get out there, squeeze, like you're trying to pull your elbows back in towards each other. There you go. I always use the metaphor of trying to hug a bunch of people at one time. You're reaching your arms way out. They're not locked out. Elbows are just slightly rounded, but it's different from this angle, right? It's more big, wide, rounded arms. 
Okay, let's go seven, six. And rest, good. All right, so just one more round of those two. So however you can step it up, heavier weights, same weight, go for longer. Last round of both, okay? So grab those dumbbells. Ready? Let's go. Technique is everything here, okay? Keep breathing. As you press, you exhale. Great job, 15 more seconds. Four, three, and rest, good. All right, back to your chest fly. If you wanna go up in weights here, you can. I'm gonna do the same, I'm gonna grab my 15s. Stay with the weight you can control. Two, one, let's go. This one is more just about that squeeze. So you get to the side, think squeeze your elbows in towards each other or your wrists. I try to say these things because sometimes it's hard if you're working on your strength to really feel that you're using the right muscle. So if I can give you some kind of mind tricks to play on your mind, drawing your elbows in towards each other. You might just really feel that chest activation. There you go. Three, two, one, and rest. All right. Here we go into your back exercises. We're gonna start with just that single arm row, okay? You've got 15 more seconds if you need to grab water one time per arm. If you're on the ground, you can go here, okay? Or you can go kneeling. If you've got a bench, you can go right here, okay? Let's start with that left arm first in three, two, one, here we go. Whatever method you're doing here, I wanna make sure your back stays flat. So when you've got heavy weight coming down, it's easy to go here. And when you've got heavy weight that you're trying to pull, it's easy to start here and have a big bunch of chest rotations. I want your chest and your back to stay flat the whole time. Ten more seconds, good job. That's it, four, three, Two, one, rest. And you can probably guess what's next. We're going for some back flies in a Superman position. I'm gonna grab my fives, okay? I'll come right here. We're gonna go up with a five pound dumbbell or just with your body weight. Up, pull, and push. Ready? Let's go. Up, pull, push, down. There you go. And if you're not using dumbbells, I still want you to pull back. Squeeze like you're trying to pull your shoulder blades in towards your spine. Seven, six, two, one, Rest, good job. All right, so we did the left arm first round. Now we're gonna do the right arm. All right, I'm gonna take this out here a little bit. Okay, whenever you're ready, let's go. Nice and stable back. Even if you can put your hand on something like a couch or a coffee table, it'll help keep your shoulder blades nice and flat.
Great job. 15 more seconds. Almost there. Squeeze. Six, five, two, one, and rest. Great job. I'm going to move this bench out of the way. And we're back. Superman with that optional dumbbell squeeze back. You don't have a dumbbell squeeze back, you're just squeezing shoulder blades back. Ready? Let's go. And I challenge you to just get this move down first. Squeezing like you're trying to have your shoulder blades hug your spine before you add these weights. Great job, 11, 10. Three, two, one, and rest. Beautiful job. All right, now we're gonna have a two round combo here. We've got a push pulse times three in three rows, okay? So I'm gonna grab two dumbbells that I can row together. So I'm gonna take my 20 pound dumbbells. Okay, we'll go together in eight seconds. Three pulses and a push up. One, two, three. Jump up. One, two, three. Okay, ready? Let's go. Take it back. Three pulses. I want you to stay on your toes. Belly button in. You can go dumbbells or your hands on the dumbbells for your push-up pulses. That's fine. Nice job. Five seconds. Good. 15 seconds, we go one more time right there. Three pulses, three rows, okay? Big deep breath, shake it out. Pulse for three. Let's go in three, two, one, here we go. Good, come on, chest and back. Let's close out this circuit. You're strong, keep thinking it. Good job. Come on, keep it up for 10. Five, four, three, two, one. And breathe. Amazing job. Your next move is a tricep overhead extension. All right, so we're going right here. Okay, grab your dumbbell when you're ready and let's go. Bend and push. And that next move is the one I was telling you about where you have optional tricep kickbacks or dips on your bench. Okay, if you're not a fan of the dips, you're gonna give me the kickbacks. So you've got options on that next one. A little bit lighter weight for the kickbacks than this weight. Great job. 10 more seconds. Three. Two, one, good job. So you've got the option, tricep kickbacks or dips. I'm gonna go for dips. You can do them on the bench or on the floor. Okay, you're just taking your elbows back and push. Either way, bench or floor. Let's go. And the bench, you can walk your feet in as close as you need to. If you have all your weight on your feet right here, that's gonna make your dips easier. The further your feet get out from your butt, 
the harder. The harder it is. I should have finished my sentence there. <laughs> the harder it is <laughs> because you have all your weight now pretty much in your upper body since your feet are not holding on to any. <sighs> Make sure, regardless of where your feet are, your shoulders aren't doing this back and forth kind of deal. Elbows bend, you sink straight down and come right back up. You've got four, three, two, one, rest. Good. One more round, overhead extension, then we'll move on to some bicep hammer curls. All right, here we go. Dumbbell up, three, two, one, let's do it. Good, you have to move your, your head out of the way a little bit, that's okay. But I still want a straight line from your elbows to your shoulders. Good job, 20 seconds. Kickbacks or dips, and then we'll go into your hammer curls right here. Two rounds of bicep, and then we'll finish out with a tricep and bicep closer, kind of like we did on our chest and back circuit. Ready? Let's go. Great job, breathe through it. Whichever one you're doing, I want that big squeeze at the straight arm point, okay? Kickbacks or dips, we're not just going for reps here. We're going for bend and push, straighten, flex at the top. Good, give me seven, six. Come on, you're doing great. Three, two, one, rest, good job. Whew. We've got alternating hammer curls now. Okay, dumbbells by your side. I'm gonna go with my 25s because we're alternating. You're right here. Okay, look over and slowly release. Grab your dumbbells as soon as you're ready. Let's go. Great job. Breathe. Here we go. Keep your elbow pointed to the floor, which means you're not scooping just to get your dumbbell up here. You're keeping it pointed down. As you pull, you're just bending the elbow. Seven, six, two, one, and rest. And now I'm gonna grab my 15 pound dumbbell, so I'm going down a pretty significant amount, okay? My palms are gonna be facing behind me, okay? Then they're gonna curl, face up, face back, face up, okay? Let's go in two, one, here we go. Touch, curl, rotate. Now the point here is to go from pronated to supinated. The supination where you draw your pinky up in towards your chest, that's really what activates the bicep really well. Great job. <laughs> 10. Four, three, two, one. Great job. Back to alternating hammer curls. I wanna point out on your uh, pronated to supinated curls, make sure your elbows aren't swinging way back and forth. They're here, you take the time to rotate here, okay? Last round of hammer curls, let's go. Same thing with the elbow, keep it down and you're just working on bending it.
Great job. Breathe, shimmy shake when you need to. <laughs> You're doing great. Fourteen, thirteen. Four, three. And rest, good. All right. Pronated to supinated. You're like high five to the people behind me. High five to my shoulders, right? Here to here. Let's go in two, one. Here we go. Good, give me a good focus here. I know this one's a burner. I know, very much I know. <laughs> Come on. Good work, you got less than 10. Two, one, and rest. <sighs> okay, we've got dumbbell upright curl times two, tricep overhead extension times two. Holding one dumbbell right here. I'm gonna go with my 20. Woo, that is a little too much for me right now. <laughs> my arms are shaking. So we're gonna go open hands like I'm holding a bowl of soup again. We've got two curls, one, two. On the second one, two. You take it up, you bend. One, two, okay? If this is easier for you to go here, you can do that as well. All right, so one, two, press it up, one and two. Ready? Two, one, let's go. Open curl, open curl. You'll have to rotate your palms around and then curl extension. Great job, 15 more seconds. Beautiful, four, three, two, one, rest, and you've got one more time, okay? Whew. All right, here we go. I'm gonna try to bump it up. I got my 20 here, I'm gonna go to 25. If you wanna do the same thing, don't think that just because you start heavy, you feel your form getting bad, you can't drop down, okay? Let's go. You've got options here. I want you to push yourself. And I want you to stay safe, most importantly. Good. There you go, you're doing great. Good pull. Fifteen seconds. Two, one, rest. Amazing job. Whew. We're moving on to shoulders. We're starting with a shoulder press. I'm gonna start with my 20s. Okay, shoulder press. We're just gonna rock right into it, ready? Two, one, let's go. Bring it 45 degrees. You're here, 45. Okay, a lot of people will try to go really far back here. Ends up feeling really uncomfortable. So I just say take it from 45 degrees here, press up. And you wanna feel this one in the front of your shoulder, anterior deltoid. You're also gonna feel it everywhere else too, biceps, triceps a lot okay that's good you're doing great eight seven four three two one rest okay jumping down 
to my 10 pound dumbbells. So lighter, I'm gonna go rear delt fly. So I'm here, okay, bringing them out to the side. Bent arm, squeezing back, okay? Let's go. Where I want you to feel this is right here. Okay. Slow on the way down as well. That's where you're really gonna feel the work. Not letting yourself slam down. So this one you're in posterior delt, so the opposite of what we just did. And then we'll do this superset one more time, okay? Shoulder press, posterior delt. 10 seconds, drive those elbows out and back, slow on the way down. Four, three, two, one, good. Okay. Shoulder press again, shimmy it out. Whew. Good job. Five seconds, last round of shoulder press. Let's go, two, one, come on. Control everything. Good job. 20 seconds in. If you want to jump up, you can. I'm going to do the same thing. We're going until you see 14, 15 on the clock. 20 seconds to go. Seven. Four. Two, one, good. Okay, rear delt fly again. <sighs> Hello, rubber arms. <laughs> Come on, I'm gonna take my tens again. Squeezing that little tiny muscle in the back of your shoulder. Let's go. It does help me sometimes to take my pinky out to the side. So a little from neutral to pronated. Okay. Great job. Come on, you're strong. We want those nice defined arms. I feel you. I know how you're feeling. I know you're strong. Come on. 10 more seconds left. Let's go. Four, keep your chest open. So you don't get here. Two, one, rest. Your next move, we're gonna go right into it. Front raise, pull in and out. Take one arm here and back down. I'm gonna use my tens, okay? One arm at a time. Two, one, lift to the front, pull, push, back down. You're taking it right outside of your chest, back out, lower. Elbow stays rounded the whole time. This one is pretty dependent on your elbow joint. That's why I'm using tens. It's really good at isolating that anterior deltoid. When you pull in, I don't want you pulling like a row. You're just coming in to pause, push back out and away slowly. Good. Rib cage, check in with it. It's not flared out, right? Rest, good. Okay, Arnold press from the hips. You're thinking of a locked in position right here with your elbows. You're gonna tap here. Tap, forehead, open and press. Take it back down, tap, forehead, open and press. Let's go. We're getting just a little bit more anterior deltoid pull here from this position to the top. Lock the elbows into a bent position. There you go. Yeah, this one's a burner. <laughs> You're doing great. Fifteen. Ten. Four. Three. Two, one, rest. 
Okay, <laughs> we're back. Front arm raise, one at a time. I know your shoulders are rocking. Mine are two. You're doing great. Stay with me here. Two, one, front raise and press. On this one, make sure your wrist stays nice and strong. So when you pull in, make sure you don't let your wrist cave down like this, okay? Go here, straight. Like your forearm is just brushing across the table. Good job. Keep your chest straight. Four, three, two, one, rest. All right, same thing with the Arnold press. Taking it here. Pull to your forehead, open press. All right. <laughs> let's go, let's go. Two, one, here we go. I know I'm talking myself through it too. I say, let's go, I'm talking to myself as well. Good job, come on. Five, four, two, one, and rest. Okay, all right, grab some water. You've got a 30 second breather. We've got a circuit of three here at the end. We're gonna go through twice, okay? 15 more seconds, breathe for me. We're gonna start with a split press. Okay, now I say press, I want you to give me a little bounce here, okay? So, split legs, you're gonna go down, punch. Okay, just a little dip. Just taking it here, a little bend in both knees to get the momentum started. Come up quick, let that momentum carry through your dumbbells. Let's go in two, one, here we go. Little bend, punch. Bring it down slow. Lock it out up top. Stabilization here. Up top, I don't want you wobbling around with your shoulders. Less than 15. Four, three. Rest, good. Next move, snatch with a knee drive. One at a time. Give me just your left arm first. Taking it from the floor. Snatch, knee drive. Okay, just this arm. Ready? Let's go. Pull it right up across your belly. Open catch, drive. And when you pull that knee drive in, I don't want it to be just a I want it to be here. You pull, stabilize, Put it back down, it's all control. Okay, 15 seconds. There you go. Seven. It's all about the core. Three, two, one, good. All right, I'm gonna take my 15s. Last exercise of this little power set at the end. We've got an inchworm burpee. Power row. Inchworm it out. Okay? You're gonna burpee. High row. All right, start back again. Five seconds and we'll go together. Inchworm down. Burpee up. Power row. Okay? 
Actually, I'm gonna do my 20s. Ready? Let's go. Good. Nice strong core on your way up. You're doing great. 15 seconds. Beautiful. Three, two, one. Beautiful. Here we go back to the split jerk. We had right leg out front here. We're just gonna switch that, okay? So weights that you wanna do split jerks with. Last round, ready? Let's go. Just go in here, bend and push. A little push press. Don't lower those dumbbells until you get them stabilized, locked in. Okay, so don't get here and come back down. I want you to bend, then lower. Beautiful. 10 seconds. Four, two, one, good. All right, snatch with the right arm. Pull here, snatch, catch, freeze. Then put it back down, okay? Come on, let's go. Control the ribs and the core. Two, one, let's go. Keep it close to your body. Okay, so you don't want it coming. If you look over real quick, you don't want it to be kettlebell swing style where it's way out from your body. You want to think, pull something from the floor right up your chest, straight line from the floor to the top. 15, straight line from the floor to the top. Seven. Two, one, rest, good. All right, burpee, or sorry, inchworm, power row. Now we're gonna add a push up to it, okay? If you can go heavier, I'm gonna give you 15 more seconds. We're going at the three minute mark. Power row, can you go heavier? Inchworm, push up, power row. Okay, here we go, five, four, two, one, walk it out. Push up, tap your chest on those dumbbells if you can. Up, pull. This is it, one minute straight here. We're not gonna stop until the clock hits two. There you go, come on, you're strong. Tight belly before you go into that push up. So don't just walk out and try to roll into it. Squeeze, lower. Come on. Fifteen seconds, come on. Eight, seven, four, three, two, one, and breathe. Guys, you've made it to your cool down. Beautiful job. Go ahead and have a seat. Grab water if you need it, come on down with me. Take that left leg out to the front. Tuck your right leg in here. I want you to open up your lats first. So take it big, tall, reach over, keep your chest open. Feel the stretch right here and right here. Good, and if you need help, grab onto this wrist and pull. Good, take it down in front. Just relax your back a little bit. 
beautiful job today. Woo! I feel like it's another one of those workouts where we started. Boom, boom, boom. Go ahead and switch. And you're done. So I hope you felt throughout the whole workout today that you were challenged, you were strong, and you were challenging yourself. The moments in that workout today where you thought, oh, this burns, right? This is tough, this is hard. But you did it. You're here right now because you did it. And that's all you have to think about. You don't have to think about all the imperfections throughout the workout. You worked your hardest. That is perfect. Roll it forward. You pushed yourself. That is literally, quite literally, all you can do. Okay? It's honest to goodness all that you can do. You place this expectation on yourself to always be perfect. Never slow down, never drop weight. You're kind of setting yourself up for this mentality of, if I don't hit this certain thing, it's a failure, right? It's not a failure if you work your hardest. Okay, so I understand the idea that you want everything to be flawless, seamless, always pushing your heaviest weights, always having full strength, full recovery, but it's not always like that, is it? I can tell you for sure that the last week I've been pushing myself really hard. Pull your fingertips back underneath your elbow. Okay, and I'm sure you've done the same thing, and I'm sure you're sore, or maybe not. <laughs> maybe you're not as sore as I am, but I'm definitely sore. I can speak for myself. Pull your other hand back. I'm sore. That does not mean that I show up to every workout thinking, okay, I'm sore. If I don't get everything perfectly in my heaviest weight, it's a total failure. This was not a waste of time, right? If you had to modify, you had to drop down in weights, this was not a waste of time. Open and cross. So, in the comments, I want to see nobody saying, it crushed me, I didn't do good, I couldn't push the weights that I wanted to, I couldn't get as heavy as someone else. I want to see positive, I want to see, I'm really proud of myself, I was sore, but I made it. I was tired, but I did it. That was hard, but I worked my hardest. That is crushing it. It's all the way you perceive your efforts, your journey, okay? If you're always thinking, I've got to be perfect, I've got to never slip up. I've got to do the heaviest weights of everyone that I know. You're setting yourself up for this ultimatum of you do it and you do great or it's a failure, right? I don't want anyone over here. I want everyone pushing to work their hardest. Success. To do your best with what you have each day. Success. To do the weights that challenge you with the strength that you have for each day. Success. Now this transfers into who we are as people as well. You have a day where you're wiped out. There's so much junk going on in your world, your job, your relationships, etc. I'm not gonna get into all the stressful possibilities, but you get into a day where you're like, the weight of the world is heavy on me. Give yourself some grace, okay? You are a person who's operating with emotions and with responsibilities and with a body. Muscles sometimes recover quickly, sometimes they don't. Situations sometimes work themselves out the way you imagine, sometimes they don't, right? This is life, and it's not to say, wow, this is really tough right now, I'm not doing great in my workouts. You are doing great in your workouts with what you have right now. It's not gonna be when everything's perfect, you feel like a beast. When everything's not perfect, maybe you won't feel like that same exact fully recovered version of yourself, but you will be doing your best with what you have. Life will change, life will throw us curveballs. life will say, hey, here's a tough situation, handle it, right? You can't judge yourself on that. You can't judge yourself on everything's really tough right now and I don't feel as strong. It's okay. It's a journey. Okay, we're in it together. It's gonna go like this constantly. That's life. Okay, so I want your positive mindset rolling as you exit these workouts with me, okay? This is why I say all this every day. I want you leaving these workouts feeling like, yeah, I'm proud of myself. There's a lot going on right now. I showed up, I'm proud of myself. I was a little tired, I was a little sore, I didn't push my heaviest weights, I'm proud of myself. I want you leaving with that energy, that mindset, that gratitude for what your body did with what you had today. Here, here, and here. Whatever you had today, if you worked your hardest, success. That's it, okay? Leave it there, go on to the rest of your day and do your best there. Do your best in your nutrition. Do your best to stay moving. Do your best to stretch and hydrate and get some sleep so you can recover, okay? You do your best and that is literally all you can do, okay? And I want you to do your best today. I'm gonna go forth, do my best, work on my hydration, work on my lunch is prepped over there. I see it, I'm ready, I'm eyeballing it, I'm ready to put it in the microwave and eat it. So make sure you just do your best, okay? That's all we can do. And in that, we learn, we grow, we get stronger here and in life, okay? We're in this together, truly. So 
Keep believing in yourself, keep giving yourself gratitude for doing your best, and that's gonna keep us on the track to our results, all right? I love you, I hope you love yourself today. If not, take a quick second and just say, I love me. <sighs> there we go, all right, I'm proud of you, I'm proud of your strength today. Whatever you had, I'm proud of what you showed up with and gave it your all. Before you head out today, make sure you like the video and subscribe to our channel, comment below, I am strong and I crushed it. And I'll see you back here tomorrow to do the same thing. Bye guys. I know.